Felicia Leatherwood brush can be purchased directly through her website. She now offers it in three different colors. It comes in a fuchsia, black, and teal. I could only find the teal and black on her website though. The brush retails for $14. I believe shipping is four or five bucks. I do have an official review and I still use this styling tool by the way. So yeah, here is a clip of my actual review. Next up we have the Weed Dad. Weed Dad offers several different styling tools, including the double tooth styling um, comb. Now this retails for almost double the amount, $26, and it's also a bulky um, comb. Now if you were to do a quick search on YouTube, at least in my opinion, the Felicia Leatherwood brush is more popular with four type chicks, whereas the Weed Dad seems to be more popular with looser curl patterns, your 3B, um, 3C, and 4A. That doesn't mean that 4B and C cannot use the um, styling tool, which of course is one of the reasons why we'll be reviewing it. Hey you guys, so yes, my hair is out, it is big, it is giving us all types of life and madness right now. So my hair has been out loose for three days. Um, I'm the type of person, I can't do that, it'll turn into this. So this is what it looks like. This is the back. It is dirty and so it's wash day. And one of the things I like to do before shampooing my hair is to detangle. Now, um, I've been detangling a lot with my wooden comb. I do have a review on that. But let's just go into the weed at first because I'm not familiar with that. It is basically a, um, it's a little heavy. Good Lord, I can get some gains with this girl. So it has two rows of wide tooth um, comb here very very sturdy a great handle here which i'm sure you can grasp like that it's fairly big um it comes in one color black and you guys saw the price earlier now it does have benefits listed below excuse me but listed on their website and there are quite a few different um youtubers that have tried out this particular detangling comb um just feeling it is something that i would have to get used to but it is very very yeah, there's something, see, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try not to be judgmental. I'm not sure what this is made out of, but as I am slowly raking it against my hand, it's scratching it. So I'm wondering what it's doing, what it would do to my hair. Um, well, we should go ahead and try it out. And then of course, there is the Felicia Leatherwood brush, which has these flexible, um, I don't even know what you call these flexible rows here, and it has plenty of rows. Almost similar to the denim as far as the uh, material goes, the bristles of the actual comb are bendable, so they're flexible, and they bend with your hairs to avoid, excuse me, to minimize breakage. So, we're going to be doing the Felicia Leatherwood on this side, and the Wee Diet on this side. Now, I have made a pre-poo. It consists of VO5, um, a little bit of suave, coconut milk, uh, apple cider vinegar, a mixture of oils. Yeah, I will probably kill this entire drawer for all of my hair. Now, I will not be detangling my hair all on cam. That would take too long, but I will do the front section, probably two or three sections, and one section of the back. Um, I will be misting my hair lightly with water and then we'll be sectioning off, all right? So I'm starting off by lightly misting my hair with water. This will help to um, make my hair more pliable, flexible, and lightly finger detangling before I add the pre-poo. Now, I love this pre-poo, um, and I will have all of the ingredients below, not necessarily the measurements, because that will depend on um, a number of things. But anyway, just again, slightly finger detangle, and then there is a pre-poo going on. This is very similar to the nappy-headed jojoba one, with the exception of like one or two ingredients. Look at the curls already. That is mostly due to the coconut milk. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Felicia Leatherwood brush and just going through raking my hair with no problem at all. Okay, so 
so this side with the weed ad again applying the pre poo and going in with the comb it is a little bit bulky but what you're going to see here the major difference is the uniform you can see how my hair separates in a very uniform manner but i found that i had to i don't know how you want to describe it almost use it as a pick you know going back and forth and it took me a little longer to, to get through my hair as opposed to the felicia leatherwood brush My hair is a looser curl and it's also longer so it's about a 4b there's some areas that may or may not be 4a so it doesn't take me nearly as long to get through as you can tell I start at the ends and work my way up and I go through it several times and I ended off with twisting my hair up this is how I've been detangling now for a couple of years. I know some folks can get in the shower and, you know, deep condition, excuse me, detangle. I cannot do that. I never have been able to do that. I tried and I mean, it's a waste of water, waste of resources, waste of my time. So I prefer to detangle out of the shower um, and then go ahead and shampoo and condition. So yes, you guys, she's going through again. So you can see here, it's taking me quite a bit to use this. So we're gonna make it work though. I am done and um hmm. <laughs> well I feel like the weed ad is um has potential um I definitely feel that for type chicks could use it um I still feel like it's was created for looser curl patterns and especially for those of you who have um not hating on you helpers with waist length long hair those of you who have longer hair especially i feel like this is best for that um it, to me it's harder to use to manage it maybe it's just because my first time using it i have to get used to it um it took longer to rake through my hair it took a longer and i don't feel like it got as much hair as opposed to the Felicia Leatherwood. This was quicker, it was easier to use, it's cheaper, and I was able to get through my hair, and I was able to get, excuse me, a lot more hair out, more shedded hair. This one, not so much, you know, not so much. This is, yeah, look at that, not a lot at all. I mean, I actually went behind this with the Felicia Leatherwood, and I was able to get a little bit more hair out. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's like I said, it, it looks like it has potential, but for me, I would prefer the Felicia Leatherwood detangler brush. Overall, I use this probably once a month. My go-to is still the wooden comb. The wooden comb or a pick on my fingers for detangling. All right, y'all, that is it. Um, let me know what you think. If you've used both, if you are now, are you um, interested in the weed ad, are you gonna pass on it? So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you as always to all my subscribers. Take care.